Almighty God, our Father, we praise and thank you for this day. You have given us another opportunity to appreciate life and to fulfill our mission as your instruments of peace and progress. Please pardon us for our shortcomings. Help us to amend our impieties. May we learn to pattern our lives through your Son's example. Father, bless our endeavors, especially today's meeting. Guide us in our discussions, enlighten our minds in every decision that we make. Give us your courage and grace that we may effectively do our part as public servants. Bless our plans, programs, and projects so that we may achieve our objectives for your greater glory. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. St. Joseph College Mission We commit to build the St. Joseph College Educative Family, SJCEF, centered on Christ, to form every member into an integral human person imbued with the gospel values and equipped with excellent quality education, and to be an active agent in making a humane society. St. Joseph College Vision St. Joseph College, a Catholic school, envisions an evangelized and evangelizing community, providing excellent integral education and involvement in social transformation. Good afternoon and welcome to Technology Livelihood Education 10 and I am here again your teacher Mr. Jun Tingson and we will going to discuss new lessons for today or for this week because it is now quarter two so last quarter we were able to discuss cakes and anything sweet and from baking preparing to presenting it so I hope these lessons that we are going to tackle will be having a sort of connection to what we were able to tackle the, during the quarter one. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Macamry and Basketry. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our Macamry and lesson one for quarter two. That is the Macamry and Basketry. For this slide, we will going to focus on the origin and history of macabre and basketry. But before that, we are going to define some terms. First is the macabre. The art of knotting cord or string in patterns to make decorative articles. It is also a form of textile produced using knotting rather than weaving or knitting. So when you hear about knitting, or weaving that is mostly crochet but macamre is nothing okay he could then for the basketry it is the craft of basket making okay so macamre before is popular in making sandals and also some Dominican friars are making it a pastime, making macamry product. Some or most Arabian women before are using accessories made from macamry. Then the basketry. So they make baskets for storage or for for storage or for 
uh, placing things and also they use basket for making a sleeper also so for the history of macabre macabre comes from a 13th century arabic weaver word magrama meaning fringe or popular term fingers fringe refers to the decorative fringes on camels and horses which help amongst other things to keep the flies off the animal in the hot desert regions of northern africa so they use this to whip away the flies Another school of thought thinks that it comes from a Turkish makrama, in English, napkin or towel, and was a way to secure the end of pieces of weaving by using the excess thread and yarn along the top and bottom edges of loom fabrics. So they use it to hold the curtains also and for the cup mat macrame is also a decoration in the carvings of the babylonians and assyrians so it looks like a dream catcher they use this a decor and put it in the wall the sailors did macrame too to cover anything from knife handles to bottles and to part of the ship. When sailors are busy at the sea, they made macrame objects and sold or bartered them when, the, when they landed, thus spreading the art to places like China and some popular places all over the world. During the 19th century, British and American sailors made hammocks, bell fringed, and belts in a process called square knotting. Hammocks now are popular in mountain climbing and camping. By the way, square knotting is very popular also in medical field. We use square knot in tying bandages so that it will be easily untied. Macrame's popularity faded, but in 1970s, macrame researched for making wall hangings, clothing, accessories, small jean shorts, bedspread, tablecloths, draperies, plant hanger, and other furnishings. Macrame jewelry like necklace, anklets, and bracelets become popular in America. It is made up of handmade glass beads and or another or natural elements like bones and shells. In 1980s, macrame again fall out of fashion, only have it revived by millennials. So, I was born in 1986 and I belong to Millennials. Now, let's proceed to basketry. An evidence of basket weaving have been discovered in a form of stone carving from around 20,000 years before Christ. So, nagamit na siya sa una this is not new anymore so since ancient time people probably made baskets much, much earlier they just don't last very well because they rot baskets are used for gathering foods carrying things storing things packaging etc People use baskets as measuring cup. They measure 
the grains or rice using measuring cup made from wheat material or basket. Basket storage. They put their vegetable or fishes or meat inside the basket storage. Cupboard is where you place all the cups. Then slippers used for walking or protecting your feet from any harm. Used also to catch fish using fish cage. Then baby cradle and also backpack where they store the stuff then carry it with dual strap. Materials used would have been depended on people's surroundings and varied considerably from willow to roots, brambles, vines, oak, ash or sap sap, hazel, bamboo strips, leaves, straws, rush and bark. Those are the best materials that can be used in basket making and they are tested by time and weather. Baskets were also woven and lined with clay to create waterproof balls. So they used as a brace or a framework to the balls, you, balls made from clay. Houses were built with basket work called wattle and dubbed with mud light until 1700s so they used to uh, brace the walls from their house using the basket technique and apply the clay and hang it to dry it there hundred years ago Willow was a huge industry. Weavers live around areas that grew will that grew willow. The advan one advantage of basket trees can be reused until they fell apart, then compose them again. For example, that picture. So they can retouch it.
activity is already posted in Eugenia together with the slides. Submit it on October 6, 2020 via email. VTMarco at no, vtmarco86 at gmail.com Then don't forget to put something in the subject. Okay? Then only those students with zero connectivity will submit their activity hard copy with the module. Then quiz. Quiz also posted in January. Then submit it on October 6, 2020. Only those students with zero connectivity will submit their quiz or hard copy on Monday together with the module. As much as possible, use the Genio platform in answering your activity. That's all for the lesson one. That's all for the lesson one. And thank you and have a great day.